And I am a community health worker, as are these students here with me, Sangam, Abdi, and Innocent. Today, we want to share a message through art and artistic practice, a day in a life at school. Please look back on the table. Not my problem. So can I you? Be quiet. Looks like you have five detentions. You are now suspended. Nah, that's a week. Stop talking. You are now suspended. I don't here's your here's your pass. Take it to the office. They will call your parents. Stop coming to school late. Here. And see. Thank you for watching. Many students in our district report having these kinds of experiences at school often. I want to invite you to consider, is this how we want our students to come to school? Thank you. In expanded practice in most difficult public schools for students to get attention if they are late. No matter what the reason is, if you get five detentions and do not serve them, you will get a suspension. Odd voices. Because of this, many students will not go to school versus coming to school late. This punishes students for issues like having to take care of siblings and struggling with mental health. Buffalo Public Schools has been one of the top suspending school districts in New York State and disproportionately suspends students that are already experiencing educational disparities due to race, disability, and socioeconomic status. Students classified as economically disadvantaged who have a disability and who are black are suspended at 2.5 times the rate of students who are higher income, do not have a disability, and are white. Defiance of authority and insubordination are the top reasons for suspensions, and only about a quarter of them are for fighting or inciting a disturbance. So what do we want? Solutions, Solutions not suspensions! Suspensions for students in kindergarten to third grade should be eliminated immediately in line with the New York State Solutions, not Suspensions Act. Buffalo Public Schools should follow their code of conduct and wellness policy to make sure students' mental health and emotional behaviors held needs are met in, instead of punishing them. Positive behavior interventions, restorative practices, and addressing students' basic health Safety and academic needs can be drastically reduced with suspensions. Needs can be drastically reduced. Thank you for coming today. We will now be heading into the Board of Education meeting where students will be reenacting this skit and several others as part of today's speakers list. You can find an in-depth analysis of the issue of suspension in Buffalo Public Schools at a white paper published at nyclu.org backslash Buffalo School Suspension. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Mount Olive Church, we will be hosting a statewide press conference to endorse recommendations released last week on school safety from the New York State Education Department and call on the state legislature to pass the Solutions Not Suspension Act. Thank you, everybody. Take a bow, students. <laughs>